Hello guys, welcome back to platforms.com and today I'm going to show you how to do this how to animate neon thumb ID in Cinema 4D so let's get started Here I got thumb ID shape here, which is I designed in Adobe Illustrator. Okay. So here the thumb ID that I designed in Adobe Illustrator, which is I use a pen tool here. If you don't have the thumb ID, don't worry. You can go to Google and then just type thumb ID vector here. And then you can see a ton of thumb ID design here. Okay, you can buy it or you can design it back using this reference. Let's go back to our Cinema 4D. So here, the thumb ID shape here. Alright, next we need to animate this spline. Okay, you need to go to frame 90 and then under the coordinate tab, set the keyframe Z position for 0 cm. Okay, going back to the frame 0, you need to move forward this spline. So I set to negative 560 and then set the keyframe here for frame 0. Here you can see some basic animation. We can improvise it by offset the spline movement here. But before that, you need to extend timeline duration. Here, I set 200 frame for this project. Okay. Next, let's select our second line here. And then I just offset it, delayed by 10 frames from original. Okay. So I do the same for the next spline here. For this spline, I SN for 20, which is 110. This one, I SN to 120. This plan I offset it to 130. Okay. Let's check for the result. Now it looks better. We need to create a new camera by going to Redshift menu up here. Go to camera and then select standard. Let's activate this camera. And then we need to set up the focal length on the object tab. I change the focal length to Super Tele which is 300mm. I just position the camera for the good angle and then let's check our animation oh sorry ok 
Okay, right now we get a good angle. Let's lock this camera by right click under surround for detects and then select protection. This one is to prevent from you accident. Set hue to 200 and saturation I set to 80%. Okay, right now we have blue neon thumb ID. Let's create depth of field for this view. Go to the redshift camera here. Under the redshift camera, okay, you can see the bokeh here. Enable override and then enable this. Okay, I increase the COC to 8. Right now, our thumb ID is out of focus. You need to create a focus point by create a null and then select our camera under basic property. Sorry, under object tab. Go under here, you can see focus object. Just write our null here. Right, you can see our camera in focus right now. We need to adjust back our bokeh here. Probably I increase it to 40. Or hundred. Five hundred. Okay, I think it's too much. But before that, I need to go to under Bloom tab. I need to enable the Bloom first. Rotational I set to 0 0.0, 0 0.4 and the softness I set to 0.5 You can increase the intensity by changing here I set to 3 Okay. If you feel the light is too much, you can decrease the threshold number by 0.8 I think it looks better right now. Next, we need to create a background. Let's create a plane object. Rotate it to 90 degree for our backdrop. Okay. Move back a little bit. And then I extend this 
plane size is cover the whole camera angle here for the background okay let's create another material I just create a simple redshift material and apply it direct to our background okay double click for our material here first I need to disconnect these current nodes and then I would like to apply a new nodes named sprite s-p-r-i-t-e sprite okay and then I just simply apply to our output okay everything's become black here I get my own texture You can see this is my texture which is electronic circuit texture here. Okay, I just apply it. You can see there's nothing appear here, don't worry. Next note I need to apply incandescent. Okay, just drag this node here and then connect to our sprite. Show the input and select input. Right now, you can see my background is up here right now. I feel like our bokeh is too much. Just simply select our camera tag here under the bokeh. I decrease the number to 80. So, I think this one is better. Just move back a little bit. I would like to change my background color here. I go to under incandescent note here. Go to basic tab. Sorry, go to illumination tab. Change our color here. Same with the thumb ID. Hue I set to 200 and then saturation I set to 80. Now all turns to the blue color. Okay. Now it's look better. I hope you find out this tutorial useful. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys learn some cool techniques. As always, make sure you to check out other tutorials in my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe button and hit notification bell to get the latest update from me. Take care guys and we'll see you next time.